welcome back to the wheels guys we are at the frankfurt auto show and you know we are at the hyundai booth and once again hyundai with this technology uh, has completely mesmerized us i am quite overwhelmed with what i am seeing right now right now what we see is the new nexo nexo is a car we, the world is talking electric hyundai has decided to take a step ahead because electric has a problem in our country also because of the charging station etc etc so this car basically runs on water Yes, you heard me right. It runs on water. Actually, it works on hydrogen. First, let me show you the car. Let me talk more detail. So, what you see here is a very sleek design of the car. You see here, right now, it's beautiful. And uh, design, I think, is very futuristic. You see him here. It's something like the Kona, but Nexo is next level now. So, you know, side to side, you can see everything. How does this switch off? What is close? Uh, well, when you close it, either when you close it or when you just throttle. Now, so when this, you is the, this is the back seat. This is the back seat. The back seat itself is very luxurious. It's not that big, so it's very, very good compact SUV. And uh, you know what I like about it is the steel finish, the speaker embellishment, the old touch feel, etc. But the main thing you're not seeing. What you see, see that you know what I'm talking about. It's the dashboard, guys. Dashboard, dashboard is to die for. But let's go back. It looks very nice. Now they have this thing here. It's not for tires. It's for to keep your other stuff, etc. And there's no spare wheel. There's no spare wheel which comes with this. Uh, at least this is what I know of for this car. I don't know where it's going to be the car. Design looks very nice. You see the whole. Thing and this is what I'm talking about. This is the whole USP of the car, which I'm going to talk to you now about it. It is a hydrogen-powered car. Basically, you get a tank of hydrogen. It gives you 395 torque. And the main thing is this, guys. This is what I'm talking about. This is what this thing is all about. This is a spaceship kind of a thing. The design here is to die for. There are 1,000 buttons here, but these buttons all have a purpose. Now, the most important, what I like about this car is the way it makes you feel, you know. There are these controls everywhere. There's this charging rocket here. There's a wireless charging rocket here. There's a 12 volt uh, charging. So basically, you can charge your laptop. There's another USB slot here. There's another USB slot here. So if you want to charge your power headphones or, or multiple phones, you can keep charging it as long as you want. Uh, the design is beautiful. This is a touchscreen extended panel. So you will see similarities of Kia Seltos coming into play, but this is very premium. The whole look and feel, the fabric, this is this is aluminium steel, I think. And this dashboard, this hood, everything, and this head to and this head to ratio is also very good. This is what I was talking to you about. I think this car scores 100 on 10 with this design because I have not seen something like this. This is like you are sitting in a spaceship. So, anyways, let me explain you the technology how it works because it's very mesmerizing. This works on hydrogen tank. It gives you about 650 kilometers on a particular tank. You can again buy a tank, get a tank in five minutes, refill it. Uh, not sure in India where can you do this when it comes, but I'm sure these guys will figure a way out. Now, what happens is when hydrogen comes in contact with oxygen, it gives you water, right? So that's a universal truth. So that water is the emission. So now, how how cool is this? Because this is what we need in today's green pollution and pollution environment when the Amazon forests are running. At least what we can do is give water to the environment. Another question is that how safe is it? Because hydrogen by nature is very explosive, but no, hydrogen by nature, it burns. So when it comes in contact with something very pressurized, there's a pre-made path where the hydrogen goes. If it goes on, there will be flame, but not too much flame. Anyways, if there's a big crash, then nothing is left. Not you, not me, nobody. So, coming to think of it, there are more pros to this. So, what do you guys think about it? Think it's cool? Leave your comments.